New beer for you, new beer for me. Everybody, let's have a good time. That didn't rhyme, but hey, we got new beer for me, new beer for you, new beer for everyone. Let's do this. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Mate Brewski for the Rooska Brewski Review. And today the beer that I have for you guys is by the Fenelon, Fenelon Falls Brewing Company. We have their Red Ale. Boom, right here, looking at it pretty. 5.2% alcohols by volume. No listed IBUs, oh there are, sorry, 18 IBUs on the can. Very nice looking can, very simple. Uh, a little picture of, I guess, uh, some sort of store. Black and white and then a nice red can depicting, well, the Red Ale. So pretty straightforward. Let's crack into it. Let's see what we got. Here we go. And pour it into my Royal City Brewing little, little glass here. Let's see. Definitely looks like a red ale. A little light. To be honest, it's about half a can right there. Looking at the beer, this is definitely one of the lightest red ales I've ever come across. All Even going as far to say is that this isn't even red or ruby. It's more of a deep copper or a deep amber color. To be completely honest, nice. It's uh, lightly tanned, lightly toasted head on there. Yeah, as far as the red ale goes, not that red. Even, even in the light, definitely more coppery, ambery. So smell. On the nose, that's a little funky. No, maybe not. Maybe it's just different. Yeah. Definitely getting a little bit... Mm, touch of molasses. A little bit of like a butterscotch, but not like diacetyl. Just like, like butterscotch or toffee. Caramel. Give it a little, little, little agitation. Slight milk chocolate but definitely more caramel and toffee forward. Possibly slightly nutty. Just barely, I want to say, though, on the nose. A little bit of toastedness coming off of it. Mm-hmm. Not, not, not the same sort of flavor profile that I get from other red ales, which is kind of interesting. Let's have a sip. Yeah, much, much lighter compared to many other red ales, more, more or less all the other red ales I've had. Very light, toffees, caramels, slightly nuttiness to it, and more or less it so far. But we need, a, we need to learn a little bit more. So with that said, guys, cheers everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Yeah. Caramel, toffee, bready like a whole wheat toasted bread and then moving into just a very very slight nutty character uh, right in the right in the finish right in the back with some um, some earthy uh, bitterness to the beer itself not too bad but I want to say it's it seems to for me so far seems to be a little bit of a hybrid of an amber ale and a red ale it's not strictly either or but there are qualities from both uh, beer styles coming together, especially in the color department. Not, not red. Crisp, yet smooth. Definitely a, a light to medium body, more, more so on the lighter side. Red ales, real red ales seem to have a bit more heft to them. This is quite, quite light. Definitely more on that amber side of things. But it is good not denying that. It's just that if you're looking for a red ale, you're gonna be getting more of an amber. In my opinion, at least. Let's see what they have to say. Fenelon Falls Brewing Co. Red Ale. 5.2% alcohols by volume. 18 IBUs and SRN12 on the SRM scale. Serving temp 7 degrees. Description. Red Ale. A supremely approachable deep red ale combining sweet caramel notes with citrus aromas for a refreshingly smooth, clean finish. 
Whether you're heading through the locks in the summer, down to the sled trails in the winter, or anything in between, we're here. Felon and Falls Brewing Co., family owned in the heart of the Kawarthas, is committed to brewing exceptional beer while delivering a one-of-a-kind experience. Hope to see you soon. I like that. They have the uh, description for the beer itself and then about the brewery, but I gotta say, combining sweet caramel notes with citrus aromas. Not really for my nose. Maybe get a little bit away with like a burnt orange. Um, that's the best that I can really think of. Um, deep red ale, I would not call this deep by any means, but hey, you do you. On the side of the can we have ingredients, water, malted barley, hops, and yeast, and there is a brewed on date, G0220, so that is July 22nd, uh, sorry, July 2nd, 2020, so it's a little over a month old, not too bad. Still fairly fresh, but I'm not getting typical red ale notes out of this. Gotta be completely honest. Good looking can though. Like I showed you guys earlier, but very nicely spaced out information. It's all there. That's great, you got ABV, IBU, SRM, temperature, ingredients, description of the beer, and the brewery, and a beautiful, and the, uh, the canned on date on the bottom there. See, you can pack a lot of information into a 473 mil real estate. Uh, I don't know why breweries don't, but hey, you can do it, and you can do it to make sure it, it's it's evenly distributed, not just clumped together, <clears throat> which is pretty cool. Moving over to the website, uh, fenelinfallsbrewing.com. You gotta go to the beer section, uh, or sorry, the bottle shop section, because I guess, like I said, most breweries in these COVID times are t not doing their typical beer page. Just doing everything on the shop side of things probably makes sense in the long run. I don't know anything about uh, websites and brewery websites specifically, so that that's my guesstimation. Over on here, we'll get the price in just a little bit, but they do have the exact same description as on the can. Again, listing your ABV, IBU, and SRM. Also showing off some related products as well, which are more or less just their their other beers. So very cool that they have uh, they have the, the same information on uh, from the can on the uh, the bottle shop website. I really do like that in, indeed. Very simple, but you know straightforward. Uh, add to cart, simple, easy. Tells you the stock info. Good to go. Over on untapped, the Red Ale by Fenelon Falls has been given a 3.5 bottle caps out of five, and that's out of 682 ratings. Like I said, not really a Red Ale. Also, I want to mention too. Now, some of these pictures, the beers look a little darker than what I have here. Not by much, maybe it's the lighting, but uh, yeah, they're still not really red, red ales per se, in my opinion at least. Yeah, this is a fairly light red ale. Um, over on the LCBO website, because this is where I did find the beer, it's selling for $3.50 for the 473 ml can right here. $3.50, pretty straightforward, uh, no quarrels with that. And even back to the uh, the bottle shop, it does come in singles and also is $3.50. So no discrepancies between the brewery and your local lick bottle. So good to see that uh, indeed as well. But yeah, not a bad beer. Like the um, like the caramels, the toffees, and the little nuttiness to it as well. When they said citrus, now I'm thinking yes, maybe citrus. But like I said, maybe going for like a burnt orange uh, sort of thing. I wouldn't say zest or rind or juice by any means. Also, doesn't say what kind of citrus. I'm guessing burnt orange, or at least that's how I'm interpreting it, which is kind of cool uh, flavor that I haven't come across in a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's um, as far as red ale goes, not a red ale. But with that said, guys, cheers and final sip. Let's get right into the wraps. Let's go. Final and Falls Red Ale. Hmm. As far as a red ale goes, not what I was expecting. Not really what I've seen red ales have uh, as as they actually are. This is definitely the most lightest, not only in color, but in flavor and in mouthfeel. Um, 
out of, out of all the red ales I've enjoyed. Uh, I'm not saying that I'm not enjoying this beer. I am quite quite enjoying this beer. It's just not the red ale I thought it was going to be. Going along the same lines, it was the red ales, 5.2%, pretty good. 18 IBUs, yeah, that's pretty much standard, I want to say. Um, but it, it, it does seem to be, for me at least, more of a hybrid between a typical red ale and, say, an amber ale. I'm not the biggest fans of ambers. But I, I can get behind this little, little what I'm going to call a hybrid, uh, hybrid mix, uh, in my opinion. Fairly good beer. Really enjoyed it. It's solid. Not a traditional red ale in my opinion, but still damn damn good. Some people should check out for sure. Fenelon Falls Red Ale gets a solid, gets a solid 7.6 out of 10 for me. As for presentation, very clean, very simple, a little too simple for my taste to be completely honest, but I do like how they're packing in a ton of information, more or less all the information I look for, in a very easy to read, approachable looking can, looks absolutely stunning. Description of the beer, the brewery, ABV, IBU, SRM, serving temp ingredients, and a canned on date on the bottom. Information wise is top notch. The only things that would be kind of cool to see just for like little bonuses would be you know detailed list of malt, hops, and yeast, or um, or even uh, food pairings. That'd be kind of cool too. But you know that's just all extra bonus uh, bells and whistles uh, per se. Website, you know, strictly a shop page uh, to look at the beers, which I'm totally fine right now. Looks good, very simple, very clean. Gives you more or less the information you need. Description: ABV, IBU, SRM, good to go, clean, simple, done. Presentation, because all the information, the can has a ton of information and it's easy to read but spaced out, not too crowded, but still a little simple for my liking. There's a solid, ooh, having all that information really does carry its weight. Eight and a half out of ten for me. Before I leave, guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers want to view in the future, you can leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Bruce, it would be greatly appreciated as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Mate Bruce. Can I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Hybrid beers, hybrid beers, don't bring me tears, cause hey, beer is still amazing. Let's pour it up, see if the color changes, or if it's just that very light sort of amber red thing. Cheers.